Hello, hello. Welcome to Mommy Moves. So we're about an hour earlier than our normal start time because I have a two-year-old who's a little under the weather or just not feeling well. I'm not really sure. So I'm monitoring him. He's home with me and he's sleeping right now. And so this is when we're going to do it because Mommy Moves is all about getting it in where you can fit it in and not complicating it. Okay, so getting in your moves that make you feel good and nourished and energized and rested, right? So we open up in our mommy moves, we do some core work, we do some stability, we do some strength training, really using our own body weight, our own resistance, not really too, too many props, okay? So we wanna make it simple. So that's what we're doing. So um, welcome, welcome. We're gonna, we're gonna start in, let's do bird dog. So come into all fours. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We've got a neutral flat back, so nothing major. And this is your, this is your posture, okay, for bird dog. We're gonna extend opposite arms and legs and do, we're gonna focus on just one side at a time so we have that isolated awareness and that concentrated focus on the stability forming on the one side. So extend, so if I extend my left arm, it's my right leg that goes back. You can point or flex your feet. So extend and then bring elbow to knee. Notice how I didn't dome out. I'm just maintaining a flat back. So I'm really getting into the rectus abdominis, the six pack abs, the lower core, the obliques, because I'm just focused on maintaining everything the same in my torso and just coming to a touch of my elbow and knee so that I'm activating my core. Inhale to reach out, exhale to bring it in. Inhale, exhale. I like open mouth exhales to really get deep into the core. Inhale, we do 10 here. And so we've just got three more. Last one. Extend and Back to, back to your all fours. Now we're gonna go to the opposite side. So right arm extends, left leg extends, opposites come together, elbow to knee, extend out. Inhale, don't forget the breath. Think about keeping a neutral spine. So nothing's twisting, nothing's moving, hips are stable, chest is stable, shoulders are level with one another. All right, just breathe right into the mic. Exhale, inhale, exhale. We got three more. Last one. Extend and come down. We're in all, all fours. Come to sit on your heels. Now notice how that gave you that stability, that really the sitting and the not concentrated and even having kids, right? Babies in our bellies. Um, our core has become deconditioned to be the, the stability in our body. And so when we go to pick up a toy, if we're not engaged there because we've been deconditioned to engage, then it's, you know, we're really compromising our spine, our low back. And so anything could get tweaked. Next, we're gonna go to dead bugs. So just reverse tabletop. So instead of on all fours, we're on our back, knees in the air. So knees come over hips. So we're at that 90 degree. And then arms straight up in the air instead of flat, instead of uh, palms like this, keep them just straight up flat. And same thing here, you can flex the toes or, or flex the feet or point the toes. And we're gonna extend opposite. So if my left arm goes out, my right leg goes down. Now, option here to extend as I'm doing now, we're just doing opposites and we are alternating. It's okay now because we've got the, the leverage of the floor to kind of maintain some awareness around, you know, stability, neutral spine. And speaking of, we do want a neutral spine. Just keep going. These are so good for you. Just keep going. There is a slight lumbar lift, right? Just like our, our normal spine has that that little tilt at the lumbar. We're not a flat back. If we were a flat back, 
we have knees to chest and that's not what we're doing here. We're maintaining hips over knees. So we come back to this, this is our neutral. This is our base. The option also is just to tap the toes. Tap, tap. Now, the reason I like to extend the legs is I have less of a hip click. If you feel your hips clicking or hear them, then you wanna offer the modification of no click. So that might mean just coming short of the click. So if my click comes when I touch the floor, then I'm gonna stop just short of the floor. I'm not gonna touch all the way, I'm not gonna go all the way. So if you feel a click or hear it, stop short of the click happening each time. So come to that place where you're not feeling or hearing a click. And whatever that means, extended legs or just toe tap, find that. And so we are doing 10 reps. So we go once on each side and that's one. So let's say we're already near our 10. We round out for three, two, and one. And now we can bring knees to chest. Just give it a rock and roll. We can go side to side. And that's it. So you're, you're going to feel the stability. The core has been fired up. Um, the spine's got support now from everything around it. Take your hands um, in the back of your thighs and then just rock and roll up. So give a nice little massage to the back. Got a round of the back. And, and here's my baby boy, just in time for us to be done. <laughs> All right, guys, let's have a good day. <laughs> Peace. How you feeling? Peace.